Meanwhile, in Tupac News... The shooting of Tupac Shakur once again underscores the violence that has surrounded this man since he shot the superstar... ...and a people pulled up, open fire, Shakur and Knight. Tupac Shakur was shot several times at the chest. Shakur was pronounced dead. Machiavellianist, Illuminati, all through your body. The blow's like a 12-game shot at... And uh, it was definitely a challenge. That was best, man. You know, I can't call it. And I asked the man upset. Only Gab can do it like this. Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your man, Gab. You know what I'm sitting here thinking about? Imagine how much Tupac stuff it could have been that never was. Now, back in 2003, I saw an interview with Hollywood director Jeff Pollack. And he was asked the question, how was it working with Tupac Shakur on Above the Rim? And he would say that it was an honor, man, and Tupac was funny and Tupac was talented. And in this, in this interview, he also talked about Will Smith because he directed some episodes of The Fresh Prince. And Jamie Foxx, he uh, directed Booty Call, things like that. But one of the most interesting things I heard him say was, that he actually wrote or tried to direct a biopic about Tupac himself. Now he said um, he approached the Feeney in 1998 and told he had a script and then, you know, he had an idea for a lead actor and he wanted to get this movie done. He was really excited about it. But he said the Feeney was riding the success of Amoru Records and, and its first release, Are You Still Down? And she wasn't interested. So he said, you know, he really wanted to push the issue, but his friends was telling him it was in poor taste because, you know, Tupac murder was so fresh. So he just left it alone. But that lead act, the one he had in mind, and I found it very interesting that it was Marlon Santana. Now, Marlon Santana was Romeo on um, the Steve Harvey show and, he was one of the Cosby kids and things like that. But I could really see that. I could really see, you know, what he was saying. I think that would have been really dope, man. I think Santana, you know, had some charisma. I think he really could have embodied, you know, what Tupac was at that time and what he still is. But I also find it interesting that, you know, in 2000, he started in a BET production called played a hip-hop story where he played a Tupac-like character who was a, a rapper that got into conflict with another rapper and unfortunately was shot to death. So, you know, I heard him say in the interview that he felt like he was playing Tupac, but who knew that he was really that close to actually playing Tupac in the movie? I think that shit was dope. Just wanted to share that with y'all. You know, and it's kind of weird that, you know, he had a similar fate to Tupac. Being that he was murdered, you know, while sitting in a car in a passenger seat, man. What a kawinky thing. And even this director, uh, Jeff Polak, died himself in like 2013 out jogging. So it's like one sad event after another, you know what I mean? I mean, one of the really strange things about it is Santana wanted to be just like Tupac. He wanted to rap and do music. I heard him spit, too. He could rhyme, man. He could really rap. You know, that was one of the things that lured him to that part of the neighborhood, that part of town he was in. He was going to a friend's uh, recording studio. But, I mean, even his whole death was weird, man. I mean, you hear the stories. The stories came out about how he was dealing with this girl. He really ain't know her like that. He just had fun with her a few times, you know what I mean? And when he went to break it off with her, she told some lies to the guys in her neighborhood. I think it was like her family members. She said that he had beat on her. He had tried to rape her and all this crazy shit. And the next time he came through the hood, man, 
You know, they blew his brains out. And then later on, you know, she admitted she made the whole thing up. She got locked up. The guys got locked up. It was just terrible, man. What a shame, man. But uh, tell me what you guys think, man. You think a, a Jeff Pollack Tupac biopic would have been dope? I mean, he probably had the blessings from Death Row, being that they did the soundtrack for Butter Rim. I like the way he filmed the Butter Rim. He might have did a good Tupac movie at the all, man. And I think Santana would have been an awesome Tupac. Would you have watched, you know, the director of A Butter Rim do a Tupac biopic starring Marlon Santana? Let me know in the comments section. Or do you think, you know, it was disrespectful for him to even to approach a Feeney so soon at the Tupac's demise about doing a movie? We can explore that too. It's your homie Gab, I'm signing off. I'm about to hit you with the piece. Above the Rim, a film by Jeff Pollock.